If you want to learn today how to build your own CI-CD pipeline in AWS, you're in the right place. Welcome guys, today I'm going to show you how you can build together with CodePub pipeline and AWS code deploy two EC2 instances. It can be your Node.js Express uh, application, it can be um, Python, it can be Laravel, it can be whatever you want. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to build this pipeline so you can automate your deployment to the cloud. Stay tuned, we're about to start, and feel free to follow for more amazing tutorial about AWS. Welcome back guys. So as you can see right now on the screen, I have my uh, Node Express JS application in my local machine. This is my AWS console, and this is the Node, it's a very simple application. Everything is located in my GitHub account under Node.js AWS uh, code deploy code pipeline uh, repository. So you guys can uh, download it and play with it and use it by yourself. There is also all the structure of this uh, tutorial inside the readme file. Okay, and today basically I'm gonna show you how you can build your own um, code deploy pipeline with AWS to deploy all the push that you do to your GitHub uh, repository. So this is the local, uh, my local computer with a local uh, Express.js, Node.js uh, application. As you can see, if I'm cancel it, so it's not working. And when I'm activating, it's working again. And what we wanna do, finally, we have a version that we are happy, it's gonna make us millions, and we wanna deploy it. Okay, we wanna deploy it to uh, one of the cloud services. I'm using AWS, one of the best uh, Amazon web ser services, uh, one of the best uh, cloud uh, provider. And if you, as you can see, this is my uh, simple, Node.js Express application is just doing a app get, basically listening to a request on port 3000 and it's sending an image with a text, random image with a text. Everything you need to know is located in this repository and I will instruct you how you can do it by yourself also. Just follow the tutorial, it's very simple, very easy forward. If you have any question you can leave comment below and I will answer you. So step one let's launch our new EC2 Linux instance because we want to upload or deploy our uh, app in the cloud. So it, as you can see it's very simple just go to your AWS um, console press on launch launch instance choose Amazon Linux uh, 2 uh, version uh, kernel 5 you can use even different version Okay, and here you have all the instruction that you need to do. So the first thing that you can see is launching our Amazon Linux server. So this is what I'm going to do right now. In the, this section, I'm going to choose the T2 uh, Micro, the free tier one, so you don't need to pay. And I'm going to leave this setting uh, as it is. Next, we're going to add storage. I'm going to use the option of the GP3. It's newer and it's better. And let's add a name tag, so it's going to be easier for us in the deploy uh, section to identify our uh, server. Perfect, and now let's create a new security group. If you guys don't know, security group is basically where we define what kind of traffic we are allowing or not allowing to our uh, app, to our server. So I'm gonna open it for uh, two um a port the ssh i'm gonna leave it uh, for everyone at the one because it's just example but you wanna uh, do it only for your ip and also port 3000 because this is uh, uh, the port that the node.js app is working and i'm gonna do it for everyone perfect and next let's let's click on launch and we're pretty done it's very simple here we're gonna create a new uh, PAM key, I just doing it everything fresh so you guys will learn everything. I didn't use the default setting that I have. So this is how you can do it step by step if you don't know how to launch your first instance. I also have a, a video that I specified how to do it step by step. Very, very, very easy, slow going. And once we download the PAM key, we launch our instance and soon enough we're gonna see it in the AWS EC2 console. So let's go there. Perfect. I'm just gonna take the uh, PAM key and I'm gonna remove it to my desktop so it's gonna be easier to reach out to it. Okay. Okay, so while it's initializing, 
it's completed. We have the first instance and now we need to do the SSH and install or, or manual deploy our Node.js app before we do it automatically. So the first thing you want to do, you want to change the permission of the PAM key we just downloaded. Everything you have a comment to do it so you don't need to search in Google, just follow this tutorial or Amazon uh, instruction. And next, now we need to basically run the SSH uh, command so we can deploy the Node.js app manually by logging to the server. If you guys don't know, it's a simple command, SSH-I, the key name, the uh, username of the uh, instance that we're giving with that we're going to log in and eventually after the hat we're gonna use the uh, IP or we can use the DNS name also type yes perfect we SSH to our server that we just launched and now we're gonna follow the github uh, instruction and we're gonna install all the necessary uh, package in order to have a Node.js Express app uh, in the cloud. So it's gonna take like a few minutes, very simple. And after that, I'm gonna go over to the next step, how to do it with the code deploy and code pipeline, so everything gonna be automatically. So now we're installing uh, everything we need. Okay, next. We want to install Node because we have a Node app working on Express.js, so we want to install a, a Node package. Okay, after running the command, we need to copy and paste all of those uh, variables, so it's gonna be available to us on our uh, console. You can do also if you want, you just can uh, disconnect and connect again to the console and it will be available to you, just like uh, when it's consensed. Consist, sorry. Okay, let's check our um, version and VM version to see that everything uh, works. So everything installed, we have access to the NVM. And let's check that we, now the uh, NVM will install the latest, uh, not the latest version, but the latest table version of Node.js. It's like 16 point something. Okay, let's check the versions, is everything okay? Perfect. Okay, perfect, we install everything we need. And now basically we're gonna download manually git clone the uh, repository that I had on my local, that it's located in the GitHub. I'm gonna download it to the server and we'll run it manually. Okay. If you guys don't know how to get the link, you just go to the code or you can copy by the instruction. This is the link. Go enter. And that is, let's now um, CD to the folder. Okay, so we downloaded the uh, repository folder, we downloaded the Node.js Express uh, app, and now we need to run npm install to install all the Node.js uh, uh, plugins or modules. Perfect, you just remember this step because we need to make it uh, automatically next step. So let's uh, activate our Node apps and let's see that it's work on the server, let's get the IP. And remember that we need to use port 3000. You can use whatever port that you want, like the one that are not occupied. And it's worked, perfect. We did the uh, second step. We deploy Node.js Express uh, app on AWS, less than uh, nine minutes. So now the next step for us is to install a PM2. PM2 is process management for Node.js uh, application. So we'll, it will run in the background or when the server is booted. We want always our app to be uh, to run. We don't want to run it manually because it's not gonna work on production. So for that, we have the PM2 uh, package. Let's install it globally. Okay. 
Okay, excellent. And now, uh, before we running with the PM2, what we need to do, we need to set node npm and pm2 accessible to root and why is that it's because when we're gonna use the auto deploy the ci cd pipeline that we're gonna build amazon is using the root user here is like here you can see the command itself that is that i'm running npm install but amazon will run it or the amazon agent the code deployment engine will use the root user I tried a few times before without it and it caused me a lot of issues. So after checking everything, this is how it's uh, working the best. So this is what you need to do. So now I'm making all of those comments, I'm making them accessible to the root user in our EC2 Linux uh, machine. As you can see, if I'm gonna do sudo pm2, the comment is not available. So this will cast error to our deployment process. Once we make it available to the root, now sudo can run the comment. So perfect. Next step for us is basically run our uh, Node.js app in the background with PM2 as root because this is uh, the root user will access after that to our server and will do the deployment uh, automatically. So now the uh, Node.js app working. We're gonna save the setting that we did with PM2 and we also wanna uh, make it to run when the computer, when the server is boot, so we need to run uh, sudo pm2 startup. Perfect, we're done with step two, deploy Node.js app manually. It's completed, and now we have a app in Node.js in our AWS EC2 instance, and we finish basically with the first, uh, first and second step. And now we're going to use the CI CD. We're gonna build the pipeline. And the first step for that, we need to install the AWS code deploy agent. I have all the command uh, in my uh, instruction, uh, in the readme file. You just need to copy and paste. It will work for you perfectly. And if not, if you're gonna have question, feel free to leave comment and I will be happy to assist you. So you need to make sure that the agent that you are installing is the same, um, have the same origin, or not origin, sorry, the region of your EC2 server. Um, I tried with different region, it still work, but just make it consist, consist. And let's uh, install it. By the way, guys, if you have any question, feel free to uh, leave a comment below and I will be happy to assist you. Okay, let's start our agent. Let's see that it's working, the code deploy agent. And now if I'm gonna go to each tab or to the process list and I will uh, sort it by memory, I, I will see the code deploy uh, agent install. It's perfect. This is uh, the, a, pre, a predefined step that we need to do in order to build the CI CD pipeline automatically. And now the next steps we're gonna continue in the console. Uh, we're gonna go to EC2, let's duplicate the tab and let's go to IAM, Identify Access Management, and we need to create two new rules with code deploy permission. One for our EC2 instance and one for the AWS code deploy group that we're gonna do in a few minutes. So make sure you check in the EC2. And the rule that you need to choose is AWS code deploy uh, rule for um, code deploy, okay? Amazon, sorry, Amazon EC2, uh, rule for uh, AWS code deploy. This is the first rule that we are opening. And later, in a few seconds, we're gonna attach it to the EC2 uh, Linux server. Okay, great. And now let's create the second rule for the AWS code deploy group. Next, here you wanna choose AWS, um, sorry, here you wanna choose the 
AWS code deploy role. This is how it's called. Next, and we need to change a, one of the uh, setting inside. So once you created the role and you saved it, we need to change uh, one of the setting inside. So let's save it. Okay, so now I'm basically going to the second role we just created and I need to change something in the trust relationship uh, tab. We need to change the service for EC2 um, Amazon uh, AWS.com to code deploy Amazon AWS.com. It's very important. Without it, it's not going to work. Perfect. Okay, now we need to just, as I told you a few seconds ago, to attach the role to the EC2 instance. So the code agent, code deploy agent that we have there um, will work. And let's name my EC2 instance. And now we're gonna set up the AWS code deploy. Okay, so just type code deploy and basically you're gonna come to uh, the developer tools. You can read about it if you have any, uh, if you wanna further uh, expand your knowledge and basically press on uh, let's start and create application. But before that, I wanna review with you the code deploy app spec dot uh, YML or YAML file that you need to have on your repository, on your root repository in order for the deploy to work. If you guys uh, wanna uh, read more about it, just press, um, just uh, search for the content on the AWS documentation. Basically this file give instruction to the code deploy, uh, configuration, how it need to work and what are the steps that need to be done. So you have the, um, the setting themselves at the beginning that you basically telling to the app spec, to the code deploy, what need to be copied from where to where. So our source is the root, the GitHub root, and we need to copy it to inside our instance, um, our MC2 user and the name of the uh, project. And there are the hooks. The hooks will run after the code deploy will copy all of the file. I have only two hooks, but you guys can have uh, much more. The first hook is after we install uh, basically, after we copy the uh, folder, we want to run npm install to run all the package uh, JSON um, plugins that we have, the modules that we have. Okay, this is the, uh, bash, the bash file. I did it very, very simple. I just did a few comments and then I'm also echoing to a file so we kind of follow the deploy.log file. And after that application start, I'm just restarting the PM2 uh, service um, that it will update. This is how we will make sure that it will run the updated code. We need to restart the PM2. As you can see right here, we just restart it because if you're going to update the source code, but you're not going to restart the process management of the Node.js, uh, even though you're going to have the, the recent code, it's not going to show it in the, in the cloud, in the server. So it's very important to run those two commands. And once I explain you about it, now we're going to create the code deploy application. So you can name it whatever you want. I love to use uh, my app and then uh, it's going to be it's easier to follow it. And here we're going to choose the EC2. You can choose AWS Lambda and uh, the less option, but we have the EC2 server. Next, we're gonna create a deployment group. Okay, deployment group is basically the configuration for the application, how it will run, and what it will be deployed. So let's name our deployment uh, group. Next, remember the rule that we just created. So this is the rule for the deployment group. Here you can choose blue, green or in place uh, deployment type, how you want to deploy, deploy the code to the server that we have. And here we will choose Amazon EC2 instance because we have only this, we have only instance. 
uh, but if you have other option you can also choose the checkbox the other option and we're gonna choose our EC2 by the name tag next uh, the agent configuration we already installed it but from what I understand you wanna leave it like this so it will work you can do never just leave it like this so it will be always updated and here we're gonna choose how we want to deploy uh, our uh, servers we have only one server so it's gonna be one at a time and if you guys have load balancer you can also activate the load balancer at the moment I'm using the simple configuration so we don't have load balancer but it's also possible to do with load balancer and we created the uh, deployment group of our um, code deploy so let's review it under application we have the code deploy and here we have the deployment group and at the moment we don't have any uh, history or revision we have only um, one deployment group and the next step is to create a manual deployment you don't have to do it I just want to show you if you guys didn't um, copy the source to your server you can run it manually or if you want to have the recent code you can also run manually deployment our purpose is to build a CI CD pipeline automatically okay so what you need to do if you want to run a manual deployment you need to connect your github so it will know from where to call from where to take um, the code the source course and the in the repository next you want to add the repository name and the comment id so what i'm gonna do in order to show that it's work at the moment i have version one i'm gonna change the app js i'm gonna use version two i'm just gonna change the version from one to two so to show that it's uh, that it's working let's take the recent um, commit saj okay let's take it saj and the commit um, id okay this is where you're taking it and here you can run a description you don't have to you can leave it empty And next, you can choose how you want the deployment behavior to be. We want to override the content that we have. Okay, this is what you want to do in order to have the newest or the recent uh, code and all the other setting you don't have to change. So after we save, the AWS code deploy will run its first deployment. This is a manually, it's not the end code, the, the end result that we are seeking for. I'm just showing you basically how it's work, what is the process. If I'm gonna go to the CD, to the folder, and then I'm gonna uh, show the logs to the deploy log, we're gonna see everything that was running successfully because I'm echoing everything to a deploy file. Okay, it's perfect and it's good if you guys wanna monitor to see if you have error where it's uh, failed. And as you can see, the setup work and we updated the version from one to two everything uh, working perfectly so now the next step is to build the code pipeline to make everything run automatically every time you push a commit it will automatically update our uh, server without us doing anything so let's create the code uh, pipeline so let's say uh, first thing you want to name it and you can create a new role or to use existing one let's create a new role the default one and the advanced setting you can leave it as it is you don't have to touch it next this is where we connect the code the pipeline uh, to our um, github so it will always uh, have a trigger when you push to github it will get a trigger it will get a webhook and it will update our a pipeline with update our source course next if you guys have a build you can uh, choose it at the moment I don't have a build so I skip and the deploy setting the deploy stage I'm gonna use the group deployment the application name and the group deployment that we just uh, created and let's create our pipeline and that's it guy that's it basically we done we created the B the a CDCI uh, pipeline 
So it's gonna take a few uh, seconds, so you guys will see the first time that you're creating um, the code pipeline, it will run uh, one uh, deploy automatically. Uh, to again, to make sure you have the recent code. It will take a few seconds. And basically we set up the AWS code pipeline. And now let's do a live demo of our CI CD pipeline. Let's see how it works in live mode. I already did the git pull uh, of the recent code that I have there. And now I'm gonna change the version from two to 10,000. Okay, think about it that you're working in your job, you have local uh, repository, uh, you, have it, you have your setting, you change everything, and you want to commit and push it to your, um, to your branch. And once you're doing it, after a few seconds, code pipeline will work, and basically will build uh, and deploy your recent code to your cloud server, EC2 server without you to interact with anything. So now you can see how it's the code pipeline change. It start to work. It's pulling the repository from the source, from our GitHub repository. And after a few seconds, it will deploy. Let's wait. Okay, it's finished the first step. And now it's deploying the commit that we just created, testing AWS pipeline from local. Let's give it a few more seconds. Okay, deploy finish very, very fast. And as you can see, we changed the version to 10,000 and it's work, guys. Congratulations, you built your first CI CD pipeline uh, with AWS. In less than uh, 20 sec, 20 minutes, you can do it even faster. I just went over all the steps. You can see the history of your deployment, each all the steps that we did. If one of the steps failed or not, it's very easy going. You can uh, always check if something wrong. You can always explore. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe and leave comment in the comment section below. Feel free to ask any question you want and feel free to follow for more amazing tutorial about Laravel, AWS and scale up your system. Have a nice day.